Oh shit. That was a shaver. <laughs> What's up guys, Eric, am I here with the new Arm Italian EXB, gonna give her another run. Um, this is an amazing truck. It is now sporting the M2C chassis. Um, I went ahead and put this on here just for the extra security. Uh, the stock one was definitely stronger than the uh, old school RTR stamp chassis, but just for the harder stuff and the extra security, I just went ahead and threw on the uh, M2C chassis. On the inside here, unfortunately, the uh, stock Spectrum ESC crapped out on me on, a, on an earlier run. She just basically smoked out the front right here. She, she didn't get hot. There was no uh, thermal shutdown. It just uh, gave out. It started glitching uh, pretty early into the run and then just smoked out. So I put in the good old trusty BLX-185. You can never go wrong with these. Uh, you know, in my opinion, it's the best uh, ESCs for these 6S rigs. It does still have the Spectrum uh, motor, stock motor in it, 2050 KV. I'm on a 20 tooth pinion, still running the Belta Guitars. Um, one thing I did do also is I changed the, the shock fluid um, from a 2000 CST, which is stock, down to an 80 weight. So she's a little bit, uh, a little more springy, should have a little more shock action for the rougher terrain. Because when you're running these uh, stiffer belted tires with the uh, thick shock fluid, it was just uh, really bouncy and hard to control in uh, rougher terrain. So hopefully that'll give her a little bit better uh, shock action. Also threw in a hot racing diff case right here simply because the uh, screw holes back here got stripped out on a stock plastic one. So I went ahead and did the uh, uh, HR case and also the M2C racing locking hinge pin kit. Running 6S, I'm running the uh, Z5200 100C packs. Uh, the diffs, I'm still running the 30,000 in the front, stock 100K and stock 10K in the back. All right, guys, let's see what's up. Oh, yeah, guys, much better on this shock so far. This is a good place to test it because of all this gravel. So uh, she has a little more shock action to keep her straight. And off the edge it goes. And we landed it. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little go big or go home. <laughs> I put a 27 tooth pinion in her. We're gonna see how these uh, belted guitars hold up to, to some taller gearing. We're gonna uh, do some high speed sends and uh, see what happens. <laughs> it's a pretty good launch. Oh shit. That was a shaver. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Hopefully she uh, survived it. Yeah, other than taking on some weeds. It looks like it. So far guys, these uh, Belta guitars are holding up to some pretty good speed. I don't see any damages after those jumps. The uh, rims aren't cracked. The tires themselves uh, seem to be holding up. This is a new set of uh, guitars that I put on it to, uh, to, to get a good clean test. The uh, first set um, had a little rip right here in the tire 
you can kind of hear it uh, in the earlier footage a little bit of a flutter sound uh, that was just a tire where it was ripped right there so I'm not sure if a rock or something had cut it at one of the earlier bashes but I got a fresh set on it so far they're holding up nice so big shout out to Arma for an for awesome option of a lightweight belt of tires